You know, when you discuss ancient civilizations and you look at the, the great pyramids of Egypt and all the structures of Egypt, they're so magnificent that you have to wonder, like, what was that society like? What was that culture like when those things were up and running? What was that like, man? Yeah. Because I am, I'm, I mean, I'm absolutely not an archaeologist or a historian. But when I look at those structures and someone says that those things are 5,000 years old and you think about how long ago that was, like, how fucking smart were those people? Very smart. What, how, what, how did they know all that? How did they do it? What was it like living amongst them? What the fuck, man? The Great Pyramid of Giza is like 2,300,000 stones. Yeah. They're monstrous. They're so... The, the way it's engineered is so beyond imagination that 5,000 years ago people could do, but obviously they did. So what were they like, man? And what happened? What is, I think it's the Graham Hancock, Randall Carlson idea. Yeah, for sure. I think that we had, human beings had reached a very, very high level of sophistication and we got fucking flatlined again by comet impacts. Yeah. That's the younger driest impact theory. And it makes a fuckload of sense when you see things like the pyramids. When you see things like the, all these old structures, especially ones they can't really date that well. Like that's the dirty secret about that carbon dating stuff. You gotta date carbon. You're not gonna date rocks, right? So you have to find like organic material in between the right. rocks, stuff that's around the rocks. Right. But you don't really know when everybody cut it. You just make a really good assessment sure. based on the carbon-based data you know, but the thing is like you can't you don't know when they cut that when did they move that right when did it, how many thousands of years did it take to set up the civilization? Where the fuck did it come from? Right? How did they get these stones that were many tons from a quarry that was 500 miles away? How did they do that? Like I think that's the story of some of the stones in the king's chamber they figured see if that's this is correct I think they figured out that some of the stones in the King's Chamber were from 500 miles away. The King's Chamber is the one that looks like a factory or something. Like, it's weird. Like, the one that's like in the... In, what is the chamber? The King's Chamber, they, I don't know why they call it the King's Chamber. Um, I think it might have to do with just the size of the stones and the that. magnificence of it. Yeah, whatever the fuck that was. I don't know why. They, why do they call it the King's Chamber? So anyway, um, see if you if you uh, find the the king's chamber. The stones for the king's chamber were cut from a quarry 500 miles away. Google that. See if that's correct. Because I think that was one of the big mysteries. Like, how the fuck are they moving this stuff? It's not even that it was like right next to it, and they slowly rolled it into place. They took it from 500 miles away. Archaeologists uncover the skin. Yeah, look at that. The pyramid stones were known to have been transported from over 500 miles away, but archaeologists do not agree on how the ancient Egyptians, I guess it probably says, pulled that off. That's just the headline. How the fuck could they do it? There's a new article on construction. That's from 2017. Oh. That's super new. But. but all of it is just guessing. The, the bottom line is those, there's so many stones. I think the numbers that if I had a bid on it, if you cut and place 10 stones a day, it's 664 years for one pyramid. So they, they think they pulled them on ropes and pulleys and shit, but dude, they're, they're cut so perfectly, you can't get a razor blade in between them. I mean, that's it's wild. It's what's funny is like we, to try to understand stuff, we obviously, we try to use a precedent, like our own technology. So we use the height of our technology and then try to think about how they did it, but if we're talking about, I mean, it's possible that we only exist, well, we exist in more than one reality. Like that we're in, the, we're in time space right now, but there's aspects of us that are outside of time space. There's aspects of us that uh, we call our soul or whatever. It's some hyperdimensional formation that like flowers with each incarnation, like when a flower blooms, that's your life, and then it dies, yeah. and another flower blooms, that's your next life, and another flower blooms. So if that's what's going on, and some civilization figured that out, so that instead of being unconscious about the greater whatever the fuck it is, the, the hyperdimensional tree that we're all like fruiting on, 
then God knows what you could do in that point. You could just make the tree grow a pyramid, maybe, you know, <laughs> like in the same way it grew a you. You know, you could just make it like, like bring stones from who knows. You know, we think we're so advanced. Like, I'm sure that uh, however cognizant uh, a monkey is, like when it's like using a tool or showing its friends how to use a tool or its kids how to like break open a nut or how to use the stick to get the ants out, I'm sure it's like we are very advanced. Like this is a very advanced thing it's doing. It probably thinks it's like advanced if it could think that. Mm. Similarly, we think we're so fucking advanced with our internet and all that stuff. It just might be that like we're, we're the same way. We're just putting a stick in an ant's nest. What Jamie just pulled up there is what the pyramid originally looked like. That gold capstone. It had a gold capstone. It was covered, I think it was in limestone. Is that what it was covered with? Yeah, this, the thing I have pulled up says in 1303 AD, there's an earthquake that loosened up some of it. And I guess that's when they took it all. Was and it? then people started stealing it yeah. and they used it to build stuff. Of course. Which is so dumb. Imagine. Imagine. They stole pieces of rock from one of the greatest constructions human beings have ever known to build whatever shitty thing they were Probably a toilet. <laughs> There's probably someone shitting in the <laughs> fucking stones of the pyramid built by the great masters. 100%. Go up to the pyramid. Find a, a stone that you like in your bidet. Yeah. I'm going to build a sauna uh, yeah. out of the outside of the pyramid. No one's using the pyramid anymore. Just grab some rocks it's from bullshit. there. I want my whole house built with it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the whole thing was stolen. They stole all of it. Yeah. That's what's so nuts. 